had a little brainstorm while I was working in the van. I was using a product from 8020. And what this product does, it's used to prevent rattling when you put a panel inside the channel, a panel in the channel of the 8020. This is a barbed piece of weather strip, okay? It's made specifically to tuck in alongside the panel and it stops the rattling, okay? I'm using this in the van. All my plexi is inset in the channels of the 8020. And I put this stuff on one side only. And I mean, it, it does the job. And it looks nice too. It gives it a nice finish, okay? <clears throat> As I said, it's barbed, right? On two sides and it's angled. So then I got an idea. We all know what the problem is with these body panels on the sprinters. It's a design flaw right from the factory. The water goes in, it leaks down, and it weeps into the van on all of your clip uh, protrusions, right? So the big fix for this so far has been you pop the panels off, right, with a body tool, you break half the clips, you shoot some silicone in the holes, you get new clips shipped to you, and you push the panels back on this stuff. Now I haven't refined the procedure just yet. I'm still working on it. And I'm not even claiming that this is going to 100% prevent any water from coming in. But I'm going on the premise that when you tuck this in, it compresses slightly against the body panel and the chassis. Okay. And water is going to take the path of least resistance. So it's going to sheet right past this. There's only one way to get this in, and you'll know when you start. There's a right way and a wrong way because of the orientation of how this stuff is made. Some of these black body panels are looser than others. So what I have found, and I have not refined my system yet of how to install this, but if you get yourself a dash tool and you softly, gently pry this top edge away from the body, as you're putting in the rubber. Okay, this is really just the first pass, but already you can see how it goes in pretty nice, right? Now you gotta come back and press it in further and make it nice and even. You can feel as you go along, there'll be bumps where it's not in. So, like I said, it requires a little finesse. There's another issue here. There's a little crease in the body panel here in the in the white part there's a little ledge so now once you have this whole thing in I'm thinking if you can get that edge of the rubber to rest under and behind that crease you've created flashing now the water doesn't even have a chance to get back there it's going to just drop right past it there's compression when you press this in there. So that compression is sort of sealing this whole top edge. And there's a number of techniques you can use. You can get a corner of your dash tool underneath that folded edge there and just run it right in. Now here's another thing you could do. If you want, before you put it in, you could put a little bead of silicone in there, right? Any kind of a sealant, cork sealant, Put that little bead in there carefully. And then when you press this in, you're gonna do two things. That, that silicone or whatever caulk adhesive you put in there, sealer, it's gonna help to grab the rubber and hold it in place. And you're creating a seal all along this top edge. Again, I'm not claiming a perfect job here, but if you could get 90 or 95% of the water to sheet off, you're in better shape than popping these panels.